Assalamu alaikum. Sir, my first question is that all the human rights agencies right now are saying that Afghanistan is facing a looming humanitarian crisis. 60% of its population is facing acute hunger and 3.2 million Afghan children are facing the threat of acute malnutrition. What steps does OIC intend to take to avoid humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan? Thank you very much. The situation in Afghanistan featured high on the agenda of the OIC for many years. The OIC, by convening this conference, which uh, has been uh, called for by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia at the chair of the summit, and the generous offer from the uh, government of Pakistan to host it. I believe this conference is very important, very timely. As we all know, the situation, uh, the humanitarian situation in Afghanistan is very serious. So the OIC, by convening this conference, is going to uh, adopt a clear humanitarian strategy to deal with this humanitarian crisis in the country. OIC will develop uh, a specific uh, mechanism to deal also with this humanitarian situation. The conference is going to uh, give the OIC a leading role in uh, uh, helping the Afghan people in order to uh, alleviate their suffering in terms of uh, uh, humanitarian medical uh, supplies and assistance in all uh, domains. OIC is going to mobilize all its financial institutions, going to mobilize its member states to get more uh, resources to support the country, taking into account that the OIC has an office in Kabul, and this office will also assume a great responsibility in this regard. So my second question is that Pakistan has been playing a great role in the Afghan peace process. Pakistan has been like alarming the world about the humanitarian crisis and uh, is taking the lead in providing the humanitarian aid to Afghanistan. Uh, how do you see Pakistan's role in uh, whole this episode? Uh, Pakistan uh, played a very important role in the uh, Islamic joint action, Islamic solidarity in general. And we believe that the fact that uh, Pakistan offers to host this meeting is clear testimony of its commitment to this Islamic solidarity. We believe that the government of Pakistan also will uh, play a very important role in supporting the OIC humanitarian efforts to alleviate the suffering of the, uh, of the Afghan people. So uh, we believe that the role is very important and uh, we'd like to call on the government of Pakistan to continue with its genuine efforts to support the Afghan people based on a strong uh, uh, foreign policy that calls for greater regional stability and international stability.